Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. This morning I'm looking at a supplement which is published by The Barrister magazine and it's a supplement which covers what is called personal finance and wealth management. Now I'm the review editor of The Barrister magazine and this is a new venture for uh, The Barrister. What they're producing is these supplements yearly. They produce one on lifestyle which comes out in the Easter term issue and the personal finance and wealth management supplement, this one here, comes out in the Michaelmas term issue. And I'm looking at the one for in fact last year. What is useful about this is the information that's actually given in the uh, supplement itself. It's a pull out 32 page section. You can see the contents are set out quite clearly there. I'll just move it up to the camera so you can see. What we've got is a whole range of um, financial issues. The purpose behind this is that the magazine is, is keeping very much in the forefront of um, its content, not just the articles that the Barrister magazine writes and, and produces for us as professionals and, and uh, for practitioner purposes, but it also gives us that extra gloss. And what they're trying to do is to encompass a wide range of financial services information, which uh, we think would be of benefit to the readers, and I certainly think they are. Um, obviously the emphasis is specifically on the needs and requirements of the uh, legal profession uh, in both our personal and our professional capacities. And in fact what you've got from this set of contents, and in fact an earlier set, which I'll just show you there, that's from the previous year, is a whole range of, of quite important issues because we're looking at things like investments um, and the financial services that are available. One of the areas I think is very important and it actually was covered in the last uh, supplement is on um, HMRC and the approach to what we're doing at, uh, in terms of how we pay our taxes Obviously, um, we are, as council, well aware of the changes that have taken place over the years in the way that we have a relationship with, um, with the tax people. And also, of course, we have a special um, tax form, if you like, because we are treated in a particular category. But we've also got a whole range of other important matters, a lot of it based on investments. And, and if I just show you some of the article, um, articles that are in here, uh, you can see some of the investment uh, information. I rather like the fact that it's on pink paper. I thought that was rather amusing. It makes it look more Financial Times-ish, if you like. Also, um, it has a very useful piece of information about portfolios. Now, probably many of you do have portfolios because one of the important things is that we don't have a pension at the end of the day like uh, a public sector. Um, employee will have or someone in a big company. Obviously there are employed barristers but I'm a member of the independent bar so I have to make my own arrangements and a portfolio of shares and a portfolio of information is very very helpful especially as one starts moving towards um, the sort of twilight years of one's profession. In other words, we want to have a rest, having been at the forefront of it for a long time. You've also got things like that article there, which is on investing in history, why it pays to um, dig a little deeper. Um, and this is looking very much at um, hedging investments and so forth. And, and the various things that you can invest in. Um, I mean, obviously in, a, in a, um, a difficult economic environment, things like classic cars are not exactly going to be uh, as brilliant an investment as, as they might be in a, in a very strong economy. You've also got other things. Uh, obviously, property is a very important area as well. Um, and also, you've got a number of other uh, important things, personal investing in particular. Now I've said a lot about that and I've tried to give you some idea from uh, the Barrister magazine itself uh, what we're looking at. As you were aware the um, Bar Council produced this ex-exec um, member benefits portal which gives you quite a lot of uh, 
wide information in addition to what we normally have but the purpose that I think the Bar Council have and that was exemplified recently in the survey that was produced about the way in which you know what we are as people as members of the Bar what our lifestyle is like and how we arrange our business was something that they were interested in I don't think they were prying necessarily but I filled the form in I'm sure many of you did and the results have come out to show an interesting um, profile, if you like, a snapshot of what we as barristers are really like. And I think that what the Barrister magazine is trying to achieve with this particular um, supplement, that's the old, the one from the previous year, is to give some idea of, of what we might be doing with the money that we earn, the lifestyle that we actually have, because we are in a a, a difficult position it's not the easiest job in the world it's very heavily stressed as well especially in the court um, environment as I'm sure many of you will know uh, so therefore I think it's important to have something like this which assists us with the information that is is coming in we all get lots of emails I'm sure I certainly do from people um, concerning personal uh, finances and um, and in fact things like loans and all the other things I personally don't go in for that and uh, personally I like to actually just have the money coming from solicitors when they pay us but the the base the basic information is that we do actually need to have um, some guidance of, of what in fact is available and that's exactly what uh, what the um, magazine is doing I'd like to thank all the people concerned involved in this because it's quite a quite an additional supplement as I said it's published annually in the Michaelmas term issue and I've found it extremely helpful and like as I say I'd like to thank all concerned and do have a read of it it's a great magazine and the supplements I think just add that little gloss both the lifestyle and the uh, personal um, um, investment, um, personal wealth side. So thank you. Bye-bye.